several months ago, written a, a series of articles about the U.S. Postal Service. My concern that the Postal Service wasn't being innovative and they should have embraced email many years ago. That led eventually to Time Magazine doing this article asking me, you know, about my inventing the first email system back in 78. And that resulted in the Postal Service, the Inspector General calling me and saying, Shiba, we do want to hear what you have to say. Not the Postmaster General, but the Inspector General. And as a part of that, uh, MIT Museum came to find out about all of this work I had. And, um, and after they looked at it, they said, Shiva, we would be really stealing from you and the country by us taking it. It really belongs in the Smithsonian. So that ended up with uh, uh, Deborah Douglas calling Peggy K Kidwell and Mark uh, Patcher's office at the National uh, uh, Museum of American History, and that led to today. And it was very interesting for me to go through this process of looking at the stuff that I'd done when I was 14, 15, 16. And I, was, I never really promoted it as a creator of email, but seeing all the work, and then it made me bring into context what I had done then, and looking at, you know, 50,000 lines of code I'd written as a 14, 15 year old. Here's a code for a blind carbon copy. Here's a code that does carbon copy. Here's a code that does return receipt. And then laying it in the context of where we are today. And um, my mom is the one who had introduced me to work at this University of Medicine Dentistry. And my mom just passed away. So I, it was unfortunate she wasn't there. But it, it, to me, it was great because she uh, represented for me a woman who came from very, very uh, uh, meager background, struggled to come here and then become a mathematician herself in a time when women weren't supposed to get educated and work in a university as a systems analyst. So to me, it was an interesting journey. I think without my mom, I would not have you know, as a young person been introduced to that environment and then had the opportunity to work there. So it was a lot of great memories, but it was also part of this journey about innovation for me.